Okay, so now I'm going to have a look at the third exercise in maximum slice problem lesson of codility. It's called max slice sum. Let's get straight into that. Okay, a non empty array A consisting of n integers is given. A pair of integers P, Q such that 0 is less than or equal to P, which is less than or equal to Q, which is less than n, is called a slice of an array. The sum of the slice PQ is a total of the values A at P to A at P plus 1 all the way up to A at Q. Write a function that given the array consisting of n integers returns a maximum sum of any slice A. For example, given this slice 3, 4 has a sum of 4, so that's 3 is 4 and 4 is 0 and 4 plus 0 is 4. 2, 2 is a slice minus 6 and 0, 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. No other slice of A has a sum greater than 5. Okay, yeah, that seems right. Right, an efficient algorithm where N is within the range of 1 to 1 million. Each element is an integer within the range of minus a million to 1 million. The result will be an integer within the range of integer min value and integer max value. So this is telling us we don't need to worry about it overflowing the int. And this is quite similar to the max double slice problem, but a bit easier because we only have to do one. Okay, so let's just put this example in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is loop through the array, loop for each value a in array, and I'm going to make a int sum, which I'll initialize to zero, and I'll start off by saying sum is the maximum between what the sum was on the previous step plus a and a. So in other words, sum at the first step will be 3, which is just a. Sum at the second step will be 5, which is 3 plus 2. And then minus 6. 3, 2 plus minus 6 is minus 1. But in the next step, it will be 4. Because 4 plus minus 1 is going to be less than just 4. And then in the final step, it will be 4. And I'm also going to make another max sum integer. And max sum is going to be the maximum between sum and max sum. So the, it will be 3 and max sum will be 3 then sum will be 5 and max sum will be 5 then sum will be minus 1 but max sum will stay as 5 this point sum will be 4 but max sum will stay as 5 and 0 now um, I'm going to because these can be negative values I'm going to initialize this sum to be integer min value at the end we return max sum now we can overflow the integer because if we start off at min value and we see a negative value first then the sum plus the negative value will overflow and go positive so i'm just going to use longs for both of these and cast it back to an int at the end so i think that that's uh, pretty straightforward just got to be careful not to overflow the integer i'll just debug through and make sure that it's working okay So 
so on the first step we look at a a is three sum is going to be just a on its own so sum is three and max sum is going to be the same three at the next step we see two sum is going to be the previous sum three plus two five and max sum is also going to be five now the next step we sum is the maximum between minus six and what we had on the previous step plus minus six which is five minus six which is going to be minus one and max sum we want to keep it as five now on the next step we want sum to equal four uh, the previous sum was minus one so it's either minus three or three rather or four but that is four the maximum between those two is four and max sum we want to keep it as five and on the final step we look at zero so sum is going to stay at four max sum stays at five and we return max sum so that's that I'm going to submit that and see how it does. We run the tests. We know it's going to pass the uh, test we've already done, but I'll submit that. And it took some time to evaluate there, so I think it did some pretty large um, arrays, probably 1k garbage, high low, growing saw blocks. Um, I'm sure it put some pretty extreme tests through that, but the uh, the time complexity was ON because it just went through the array once. So that's a pretty straightforward one, but I suppose um, not overflowing the integer. Uh, value is a bit of a thing to look out for but that's my solution to max slice sum problem on codility thanks for watching